Hello everyone, welcome to my November 2023 Currently Inked. I have 10 pins here. I do ink up more than 10 pins um, per month. I keep a lot of pins inked up at a, at a time. Um, but these are like the 10 highlights, um, the 10 standouts for the month. Not all totally positive, but for the most part, it's been a, a good month. The first pin that I have up is the Duke Bamboo. I bought this off of eBay. And next we have the Ryan Crusack Legends 14. This is the Moby Dick. The Monte Grappa Lord of the Rings Eye of Sauron. Stipula Ventidue 22 Toko Faro. We have the Hongdian. N10, this is a fairly new purchase. We have the Cross Townsend, Year of the Pig. I've had this for quite a while. Lamy Vista, which is quickly grown to be one of my favorite uh, pins. The Pelican 140. This is a vintage pin. I showed this in my um, Pelican M600 video. About Monte Verde. This is a regatta in the abalone. And lastly, I've shown this before as well. This is the Platinum Curados. So I'll go through a writing sample of each pin. Zoom in a little bit. So again, first we have the Duke Bamboo. Again, I bought this off of eBay. Fairly inexpensive purchase. I uh, chose the option of get, getting the um, fancy box with it. And it did come with a very nice bamboo box. So I think the full name is Bamboo Confucius, maybe. It's Confucius there. And there are a couple little scratches. I do carry this with me quite often. I don't believe that it's real wood. Some kind of laminate, maybe. And there's the nib. It's a cartridge converter filler. Nice, uh, it says Germany. Duke. Duke, I have, I have about three or four Dukes. And these are really underrated. Very good. The nib says Duke Germany. Very underrated. Uh, and this looks heavy, but it really isn't. It does post. And it's not very black weighted. Um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't post it. There's the finial. Very ornate. There's the infinial. Yeah, it's definitely not um real wood. Just this Duke 551 there. It says Duke 551. Fairly smooth section. So this is the Duke 551 bamboo. And this is a medium nib. And the ink in here is Birmingham Pen Company. And this is Blast Furnace. Just a dark gray to black. So, make sure I'm still in frame. Um, the nib does have a little bit of give to it, but not really any line weight variation. For the most part, it's a, a, a fairly stiff nib. It does write nicely in reverse. And that's what it looks like up close. As far as wetness, somewhat wet. But that's the Duke Bamboo. And I can do a review on this pen and my other Dukes if you're interested. Very nice pen. 
Next is the Ryan Crusack Legends 14. I think I've had this in a previous Currently Eat. But there's the nib. It's a fine steel nib. It says, um, I think it's his initials. The R backwards and the K. This is all. I know this is a uh, deer antler. And I think this may be just wood. I'm not sure. But very nice cap. Very nice engraving on it. And this is number 95 out of 150. Yes, as well as a cartridge converter filler. Takes a lot of turns to get it screwed back down. So I am using my trusty black and red notebook today. Ryan Crusack, Legends 14. I haven't been on his site lately to check and see what his, his stock is. Um, so I don't know if he still has the Moby Dick or not, but this is a really nice pen. Fine steel nib and the ink in here is diamond. This is Oxblood. For the longest time I had um, uh, Diplomat Sepia Black in it, but I switched up this month and put a little Oxblood in it. And it's been a good pairing. Again, another firm nib. This is just a really Really, really nice pen. A little bit on the pricey side, but he does hand make these. And he does, um, he does take his time. And the communication isn't very great, but it was definitely worth it, uh, in my opinion. And I would like to, to get another uh, Ryan Krusak pen at some point. But that's the Legends 14. And this is it up close. And one thing I like about this paper is, as I've said before, you can see that I've swatched it and very... Oxbow is a fairly viscous ink, not as much as writer's blood, but you see it doesn't bleed through. The only thing you see here is where this rubbed off here. So I really, I love this paper. I stock up on it actually. So next we have the Monte Grappa Lord of the Rings I of Sauron. And I've done a review on this pen. And I only put one ink in here, and that's um, Poly Roshizuku Fuyo Silga. I just love the way that the ink feels in this. Very graphite like feel to it. You can see there's a lot of artwork on this. There's a beautiful Monte Grappa nib. And again, the the ring does remove. You just unscrew it. Lord of the Rings. I bought this from Made in Italy. I bought this from Truthy, I believe. So we have Monte Grappa. Lord of the Rings. Eye of Sauron. This is a medium nib, still. I have quite a few stibs, still stibs. I have quite a few steel nibs uh, this month. I think only one is uh, a gold nib. The ink in here, again, is Poly Roshizuku. Fuyo Seal Gun. I just, I just love, it's like writing with a pencil. You can probably, hopefully you can hear that feedback. It's just very, very nice. I just love the combination. I don't think I would like Fuyo Seal Gun in any other pen except for this one. I'm not really a big fan of dry inks and it's a pretty dry ink. So that's the Monte Grappa. And what this... Hmm. 
not really. So that's the Fuyo Seal Gun, the Monte Grappa. I just love the way, love the way that feels. And next, another pen that I've feature, featured on this channel is the Stipula Ventadui. 22 Toko Ferro. This is also a limited edition of 350. I think this is 351. This, uh, I think I have 77 of 351. Is that what that says? Yeah. This is a piston filler. There's the stipula nib. It's a stipula forense. The only thing that um, I don't like about this pen is the the cleaning. It's a uh, this is really hard to uh, turn, so it's uh, kind of a pain. So stipula, venti, Dewey, twenty two toco ferro means um, I think it's iron clear. Or what does it mean? I'll put it on the screen. I have the other one. I think it's iron clear. Yeah, I forget what this one is called. This is a fine steel nib. Ink in here. What do we have in here? We have Robert Oster, Cities of America. And this is Miami, a beautiful blue ink. Again, another firm nib. It's been firm nib month. Nicely in reverse. What? Oh, somewhat. So that's the step a little bit to do it. I bought this from Gold Spot. Pet it for, for a minute. Very nice pen. Just as I said, the cleaning can be a bit of a pain. So a new pen to me. I haven't had too long. It's got this this month. This is the Hongdian Intent. Bought this from eBay from my favorite Chinese seller, Essie Bai. Very nice pen. It's very slick. This is a piston filler. Has the little portholes similar to the narwhals. It's a black coated nib. It's feed. The, the feet looks like it's a ebonite. Very high quality filling pen. I like the Little stripes there on the side. Hung Dian, the the designers are very talented. They have a, a good eye for pens. The finial there is uh, pretty plain. Very usable clip. And again, piston filler. You can see, I can see that I'm full of ink. Very nice. Um, although I, I like the pen and I like the ink. I just don't like the pen and the ink combination together. This pen, I believe, needs a a wetter ink. Hondion N10. This is a fine steel nib. The ink in here is Birmingham Pen Company. Kentucky Bluegrass. Again, I probably would like this in the um, Monte Grappa Lord of the Rings because it kind of feels like that type of uh, ink. This nib does have a nice amount of flex to it. Wetness, um, not, not too much. So, yeah, I'm going to... Um, probably use this up and totally switch to something 
something much wetter. I, um, in order to improve my French um, comprehension, I started transcribing the color purple, the book, the color purple in, uh, in French. Um, cause just because I know the movie so well and the, uh, the book and the dialogue. So this was writing with the Hong Dion. So, I mean, it looks okay on paper, but it's just very, just not a pleasant experience. And I couldn't even, you know, do a whole page before I was just like, uh, I need to move to a, to another pen. Um, but let me see. I will show you how I did with the Platinum Curidas. That was a much, and the um, Cross Year of the Pig when they come up. But that is the Hong Dian N10. I would highly recommend this pen. Just, I mean, I mean if you like dry ink, um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my cup of tea in this pen. It's the Hong Dian N10. And next up, one of my favorites, the uh, Cross Townsend Near the Pig. It's a Zodiac, the Zodiac series. And then there's a little pig there. There's a Swarovski crystal there on the top. Just a beautiful pen with a tiny little nib, tiny little baby nib. So I'll use my left hand for a minute. Cross Townsend. Year of the Pig, and I did do, I think I did a review or an unboxing of this. This is a thick medium, it's a steel nib, and the ink in here is one of my favorites. If you watch this channel, you'll probably guess it, Don My Writer's Blood. It does have some um, movement in the nib, but not really any line weight variation. But it does. It, it's a little. It's a little spongy. A nice. A nice um, spongy. And it's nice in reverse. So all of the pens so far have been pretty good in reverse. And of course, you know, writer's blood is pretty wet. So I think I have a converter in here. Yeah, converter. This one may have come with a converter. Cross usually they don't come with a converter, but pretty light pen. It does post. But this is one of those pens that's comfortable posted. So let's do Cross Townsend Year the Pig. Next we have the Lamy Vista. Plain old Wami Vista. I bought this off of Amazon. Make sure I'm still in frame. Look at that beautiful writing. Not not my handwriting, but the pen. Just it just oh I love this pen. This is a fine steel. This is one of those pens that I could just write with all day. If I could write all day. So the ink in here is nothing fancy. It's just the included cartridge. And firm. And reverse. I don't remember how this, of course it's nice in reverse. It's pretty wet. I highly recommend a Lamy Vista. I don't really care too much for safaris. I do like the LX and the um, All Stars. Um, there's something about the safaris that I can't quite bond with, but I do love this Vista. 
I would like to get a Goulet exclusive one, the one with the black trim. But it's still also oh, just so nice for such an inexpensive pen. So we have three more pens to go. This is the Pelican 140. This is a vintage pen. There's the nib on that one. It is a piston filler. I'm trying to see. I don't think I can see through it. It's not translucent. But a fairly small pen. I bought this off of eBay. This says probably Pelican Germany. Can't really see. But. So Pelican. And this does have a nice amount of tooth. I'll show you the, the nib from the side. It's kind of a curved nib. I don't know if it's meant to be like that or happen over time. This is a fairly old pen, but it doesn't affect the writing at all. So this is a extra fine. 14 karat ink in here is Diamine Aurora Borealis and I think it has some leftover Waterman's inspired blue as well so there's the you can see the flex there nice flex and it, the feed does keep up really well reverse pretty nice and it wasn't very expensive you know compared to the pelicans of today i got this as a pen and pencil set so that's the pelican m140 not m140 i think it's just 140. okay two more So Monteverdi Regatta. I have a few regattas. Um, I haven't had that much luck with um, Monteverdi's, but the regatta and the Ritma both have been pretty good for me. See this beautiful abalone. And this is a magnetic cap. And it's post magnetically as well. And these aren't very expensive. There's the nib. This is an Omniflex nib. There's the feed. So that's the regatta. So the section is pretty thin. Monteverdi. Abalone. This is Omniflex, and it does a decent job of flex. It's not the greatest flex. It's nothing like the the um, the Pelican, but it's pretty nice. Um, ink in here, another one of my favorites. This is the Diamine Ink Vent 2022. This is Serendipity. So it looks very black on the paper, but it does have a little uh, bluish green tint to it. See, it does, it does flex, but it doesn't have, you know, the super amount of flex that you'll see in the um, Pelican. I'm not even sure if I'm even comfortable pushing it that hard. It's a pretty wet pen. So you can see the, the blue there when you smear it. But otherwise it looks pretty black on the in the writing. But it's a beautiful ink, beautiful pen. The regardless and the Ritma saved Monteverdi for me because I 
I had the um, Innova, Innova, and yeah, it wasn't very good. So last pin, another one of my favorites is the Platinum Curidas. I featured this in another currently inked, made in Japan. Fairly inexpensive for Platinum, but it is, it is a steel nib pen. And as much as I like the ink that's in here, the Curidas doesn't like it. Um, so it did hard start there. Once it gets going, it's fine. Platinum Curidas. This is a medium steel. And the ink is um, leftover Platinum Blue cartridge. That's when ha what happens when you're just too lazy to clean out a, a cartridge. Like how hard is that? Um, and some uh, dime mine. And this is Ink Vent 20, I believe 19. And this is Jack Frost. A uh, beautiful, beautiful ink. But like I said, the Cure Dust does not like this ink. Firm. And it's excellent in reverse. Just an overall excellent pen that I never thought I would like as much as I do. So that's the Platinum Curidas. Beautiful, beautiful ink. So that's my current ink for the month of November. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're all doing well. As always, take care. And I will catch you later. So I did forget to show the, let's see here, the Curidas and my transcriptions. I was able to do a page in a little bit. Um, much more pleasurable writing experience. And then we have the the Year of the Pig. The Year of the Pig was, um, it felt good to write with, but it um, was so, such a um, heavy, you know, as I have here, nice but thick. The meeting was so heavy, I felt like I was running out of of a uh, room. I don't want to use up, you know, all my paper um, that quickly, but it felt good. It's just a little bit too thick for me. And up next, I'm going to write with my Lamy Vista. So that's that.